you will never ever knew it, so watch this. In addition, you have to report to the central office every 24 hour. Listen. Not with me and not with your crazy rules. The advisor can come in now. It's to be more serious than we originally estimated. In fact, it is a declaration of war. And if we do not act, we might be overrun by anarchists. Yes, was wrong. I am not the right person for this job. You know, perhaps I was happier when I sat behind my desk and everything was so clear. I just did not know. I have something for you. Of course. Oh yes. Here you are, your envelope. Many thanks. Is it true, I'm smaller than you? Believe me, or what else should you do? In your situation? At least it seems to me that you are real. Don't look at me, dude. Hold you, I experience crazy things. Where are we here? And... What are you doing here? Hey you. Hey, I called this morning and I have an appointment with the editor of the article on No Man's Land and Lake Constance. I read the article and wanted to get to know the person who can help me. That's my home. Fine. Uh. My. God. Good. Hey. You can call me whatever. <laughs> you absolutely have to come. We have his transmitter bearing near her house. That. At my house? Where the fuck is he exactly now? You know. Sir. We get only once a day the chance for a really good bearing. We had this possibility some minutes ago. And? Don't talk. We need facts. We have to hound him, this fucking bastard. He must not escape us in any case. Sir. I'm on the way. Contact me immediately if there's something new man. Send him to hell. Yes, sir. Go faster. Darling? Why the many guards around the house? This is just a precaution. Really nothing serious. This I promise you, darling. Wait, I'll go. Hello. Yes, hello, it's me, I'm calling from no man's land. Do not joke, you've scared us. Oh, really? And what did you do to me? Nothing, I do not know what you mean. Come on, just come back and everything will be fine again, I promise you. Say what you plan to do with me. Or I hang up immediately and call you again tomorrow. I will help you. Just start like this. Listen good. I apologize, and I'll tell you the whole truth. Speak. That's not true, it. Hello. Such a fucking bastard. Shit, shit and shit. Who the fuck is responsible for this damn shit? You. By the way, we just had a bearing from him, he must have been in the immediate vicinity of this house or even... Or even what? Or maybe. Even in your house, sir. You moronic fool. What do you think? Who am I? I'm the head of the security department and I'm not even safe from this maniac in my house. That's what you want to tell me, right? How do you think this will affect your shitty career? With all your respect. Oh, shut up. I'm in the office. You hold the position here. Look, even the dog goes to his hut. What happened? Tell me. Do you want it to end the same way as yesterday? Or are you thinking of telling me and all the others the whole truth? Well, so... Listen. Raise my status to a rank above yours. I know, 
You can do that. But my friend, how did I deserve that? Because you treat subordinates like guinea pigs. And then I would like to have full insight into the files of this case. Of course I will be released because of the service to the society, with immediate effect, with all honors. Not to forget, the Golden Cross of Merit. By the way, it is exactly what you would like get. Sorry. For sure you all never get it. Naturally, I will try to fulfill all your demands, but leave me some time and above all, let my family out there. We always got along very well. Didn't we? Yes, until the time your ego crossed your way. I know that you have given shooting orders for me. Something like can destroy any friendship, don't you think so, asshole? Until tomorrow, I await the papers and all powers to sign. I am reporting at the same time and you can believe me, I am currently in your house and no one can stop me from going in and out of the house. I will try to hold myself back. You can check this out. For sure. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we got him. He is currently in the front part of the house. In fact, then we have to let the security chief know. Of course we have to. Yes, then do it. Do it. This is an order. Yes, sir. Access, now. All available people have to go to my house immediately and bring my family to safety. Catch this bastard, dead or whatever. Yes, sir. Surprise! Oh my goodness. Go drive, please. Hey, where have you been? You are looking exhausted. What happened? Just drive and I will tell you everything. Better always keep moving. Okay. I'm sorry, I could not contact you anymore. I had already put you in danger too much. Finally, we carry all implanted transmitter and I had to get rid of it. I mean I've put a wrong track. A wrong track? Yes, a wrong track, but more about this later. Nevertheless, I want to be careful. You understand? Uh huh. There is something about you, or the disappearance of your husband. Okay. I have to inform you. Your husband is alive. What? So you wanted to show me something here? Here. Or better. Out there. It does not take long. Just one way? Just one way. We are going back by car. Yes, he is alive. And it has nothing to do with this no man's land why he decided to change his life. I should tell you the truth, he said. So fair you can follow me? But why? Continue. True, it was the trigger but not as what it seems to be. Of course I had my helpers there, but it just happened so, and what I have to say of course, this no man's country quite a funny thing. It was time to realize what I really wanted. Let's say, it was. Just kind of helpful. And in the meantime, the no man's land has become something real, isn't it? But this is just an art concept to a virtual country, somewhere, and just by chance in Lake Constance? This only showed the lack of regulation of the border, no more and no less. Not only that. This concept suited a sensitive point, I think. Okay. <laughs> At first, they just did not want to admit that. Then there was the fear that the public has too much interest in an underdog, in order to make this place real. This wish has been expressed many times. Some guys will, will have a hard time with this case. However, with my personal situation it was not connected, not really. Sorry. Except that it already inspired me in the first interview to finally live my real needs and make a decision. Better late than never. True? Exactly. We could say that the truth is not taken too seriously. 
In fact, we could actually say that the truth interests only a few. For example, fake news spread six times faster and reach ten times more people. So what? Sounds funny. Isn't it? He disappeared and left me in the dark. Well, I have done my duty. I have told you everything about him I know. You are fine? Just a moment. <laughs> now, finished? What a cheek. I have to get rid of the damn thing. Already clear why I'm still on duty for them. Because they could follow the signal of the transmitter. Always moving and looking for a dark van, that was my job. With a cutlery I was cutting out the transmitter in the toilet of a restaurant. It was bleeding wildly. But it will heal. Then I climbed the garden wall at my boss's house. I know the dark and of course he came straight to me. First the Rottweiler started to bark, but I had goodies for him. And then? Toby is his name. But you did not do anything to him, did you? Say. Well. Well, I had to shut up him. I gave him the goodies. It was the dawn and when the dog was busy eating. I pressed him the transmitter chip deep under his skin on the flank. What? You did. Nothing bad happened to him. Toby went to his house and licked the wound. Finally, that's what they did to us. No reason to be excitement. This was the first part of my revenge. And what is next? I will tell you. Listen. I disappeared immediately and left a camera on the place in order to observe his house. Toby did a good job as well. He confused them with his toilet walks. That was kind of funny, man. He's fine, I guess. The best was actually. Imagine, the special unit has arrived with these automatic weapons. They searched Toby's house and made a big splash. Really? Really. Was really funny. Shortly later I called him. He was confused also because Toby was in the house at this time. Your boss. Ha! Yes. Whatever. Listen. Such a puppy sometimes catches a thorn. And my ex-boss, I never blackmailed him with his family. Everything happened in his fucked up mind. I did not know that he can develop so much imagination. So what? Exactly. Creativity can be everywhere. We have this country as an antipode. A resourceful spirit has discovered the land where the truth has its place and finally also described an area and that is still in the heart of Europe. So then the truth should be found. The truth is not a field to reap. This you need to understand, my friend. That interests only a few. Many people spend their lives trying to invent something new or making an exciting discovery in order to become true themselves. Many more have lost their fire or never really found it. They complain that there's nothing new to discover anymore and no new inventions are possible at this time. Can you imagine how much energy is wasted here? This country is factor the proof that there is not only the truth, but this example helps many people simply to believe. To believe in himself. And by the way, whether the other states recognize this no one's country does not matter. Above all, it counts the potential which houses this country. Secretly, they will even be proud of it. That would be crazy, man. Do not forget, this is the last inexhaustible resource of our humanity. It is about our creativity. Captain Crew, sit for landing. Listen now, there are some very interesting details for you.
Ladies and gentlemen, this is your captain speaking. We are at Broge Landing in Friedrichshafen. We currently expecting light rain in about 12 degrees. And, the following information is exclusively for you. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to point out that we are gliding over the territory of the, the artistic land of no man's land. It is a virtual concept which is also listed beyond the micronations on this globe. It is a country of real existence in the center of Lake Constance. Since we were able to get the licenses for this performance, we are pleased to show you the following short film. Your name should not be mentioned, right? Exactly. This should not be criminalized. The reason why I do not want that my identity is not mentioned is also due to the fact that nobody can not be represented by someone. The land is an idea, a vision and at the same time it is a philosophy with a geographic reference point. A virtual country, its inhabitants or the founding of the state are just virtual and subject to the laws of its founder. These conditions can differ from the usual practice of real countries, and it is not a contradiction. If I speak of real citizens of the state of no man's land at the same time, they certainly exist. The very fact that this area of Neumannsland, which is the original German name, which means no man's land and it is located in Lake Constance, this fact states that if citizens has to inevitably reside in another country, this may be reminds a bit of Tibet. However, we are not refugees but explorers and the land may never be visually recognizable. Just here, to understand that, imagination will be needed. For the reasons mentioned, we do not accept any refugees, but not because a boat is full. We do not really take possession of our promised land, because it is not possession. As real possessions decrease by division, whereas our possessions multiply by the number of persons. Well, supposedly, under real laws, but also quite understandable and decent, more decent than many other we know. We are artists and the country itself is an artistic program to strengthen the artistic consciousness. The day of foundation of the state name Anselm is a holiday for art. That's always been missing anyway. A holiday is a good thing. But to talk to the innkeepers, what distinguishes this new and special country? For example, Native Anseland has no industry and offers 100% of its orders abroad. That alone means that it is a stroke of luck for a materially oriented society to be close to it. That was a joke. <laughs> yes, sorry of course. A joke. Yes, a joke. Of course. But seriously, tourism to no man's land is a bit different than usual. Actually, it could be anywhere but it is also in the waters of Lake Constance. Surely, I can tell you that we already have some great ideas. I understand that correctly. Its country geographic is not needed for this place. Again. So, why is it defined in Lake Constance? Because this one is there. Again a joke. Ha, ha. No. This. Is. No joke. Take a look at this place on different maps of the region. You will notice that the borders in Lake Constance, for example also at Google Earth, have been changed several times, especially in the years of the emergence of this state on August 6th in 2004. This gap is there. We just filled it with our ideas. Now a secret. Currently there are no borders shown on the maps. Again, here is a gap and this country fills this gap. This happened after the Empress Maria Theresa, about 350 years ago. There is no clear rule and that lasts until today. One example. This is primarily a virtual creation. As virtual as. For example. The time. With a watch on your wrist you neither own the time, nor you have it under control, nor can you understand, what is time. So these are two things. And what is this place about? Is it virtual or real to you? I don't know. 
It will be a place where you learn to understand, that an imagination can become true. Finally this place becomes true for you. This is the process how it works. This is the process of materialization. Go there and you will realize that this place has something magical for you as well. Do you understand? Well. For me it's important that people understand it. I think. As a summarize. For me and for the auditorium, could you please explain this with two or three words? What makes your project different from others? What makes it unique? This country has no land in the traditional sense. It has no constitution, no flag, no monetary system, etc. It does not depend primarily on the conditions that generally rule or imitate them. It sets up its own rules. But perhaps for many the most interesting and notable feature of this is, this country is not an invention, it is a discovery. Okay. I thank you for the comments on this new and interesting state of art. Fine. Cut. Hear the news and soon we switched to Paul's speaker, and his talk show was presented the Leak Lake case last night's show yesterday. A disaster for the governments of three states. We would like to have an official statement here, but our invitation to the Ministry of Foreign Affairs to give a statement on this issue was not answered. A novel, written by the author C.I.P. Edner opened the topic of this cold case, and now the discussion arrived to a new level of escalation. The incredible story of a white spot in the heart of Europe gets public after we heard about a police action in the private home of the local police chief. A threat should be received. However, this message was rejected shortly thereafter. Let's see what Paul can tell us live from the seat of government. Paul Speaker, live from the government building. Unfortunately we could not get an appointment. We have to wait until noon tomorrow, the press was told. Attention. No Man's Land or The Man Without a Name was the full title of the novel and describes in the 2007 published The Rekirk about the borders between Germany, Austria and Switzerland. It explains what the government has known for a long time and kept it as a secret. Now this subject forced strange reactions when I informed about the facts in my late night show yesterday. Finally we want to know what's behind the background for this unbelievable story. It's true. There is a white spot in Europe. This is now very fretting to the three border states of Lake Constance, who claim their own territory rigged there. In the water. It now makes the appearance of settlement or discrediting, because the political and international legal facts speak clear language. Three European countries now have a real problem with their demarcation. The European Commission played the ball back and said that this is not a European problem. It is far more in responsibility of all the states involved. The reference number for this petition to the EU is 1014 to 8. So far, that's it for the moment. Back to the studio. Thank you Paul. Here is the compilation from last night's show. And proudly I present. Noman. We could not find anybody to talk about this issue. Still, we have at least one dummy here, as an option. Hey, hello. Okay, well, you do not have to say anything, I'll explain it. You understand. Dummy. As a journalist I am interested in what the foreign ministries of the respective governments have to say about this land grab. It has also been claimed that the initiators of the new states are using guerrilla methods and have even hacked the computers of the three government seats. Yes. Shortly after this got public this message was declared a misunderstanding. The opposite is right, everything is fine and a declaration of a new states would never have arrived. Isn't it strange, is it? At this moment a Twitter message from the Austrian foreign minister arrives. What? It says, with the idea of a virtual state no man's land in the middle of Lake Constance, with the characteristics described by him, 
They contribute to a European peace discussion that deserves attention, and for me in particular the idea of the freedom and independence of art in the center. And further, the cultural policy section of the Federal Ministry is for Foreign Affairs is willing to support your project as an art project ideal. Finally, it says, I am looking forward to further actions on this topic and wish your artists group much success. The message is from, Ambassador Dr. Emil Bricks. What honor? And what cool, if this is only an artistic project. Couldn't it escalate it easily? Which means? What? Okay. Let's continue. Another message from Switzerland arrived at the same time. It is a notification on behalf of Swiss President Karl Miri. The recognition of a virtual state would probably have to happen through an equally virtual state. Sorry for you. Ah. Fine. What you heard, it was the comment of two states. Germany is still missing. To describe one thing for the audience, this is not a marginal issue. As everyone understands, for example, on a naturalization some important questions needs to be answered, to become a citizen. It speaks for themselves that you should know how many inhabitants your country has, or how many states, and so on. The current situation of the borders in Lake Constance means that three European states does not know the size of their own country, because the area of a state consists of land and water. A disaster, and so I put this, actually simple question to the three respective heads of state, and wait for their right answer. More on this, at the next news time. I want to tell you something. You have to know that I'm real. As good as this street, for example. But. Not everyone can see the street, you have to get here. It is just a bit more complicated with me. That's it. That's true. I am not crazy if I believe that you are not true. Right? Do not look at me like that, man. Let's get to the point. There's a country out there, that's one thing. Kids just can believe it, for you it is not that easy anymore. You think that there is no land in the lake. And therefore it does not exist for you. This seems to be logical for you. Take a boat later, drive out and let the doubt on shore. Why today? Because. Today is a good night. Oh no. What a profound argumentation. I am guessing that such experiments are at least a bit unprofessional and just esoteric stuff, are they not? That's really tiresome. Better now? No. You can be sure to receive your long-awaited proof. Let's walk a bit, it's late. Do not you come with me? Only a few steps, come on. It is so impossible to clarify something. If you do not sure, what's real and what not. The end is the beginning.